Zoroark, the Illusion Fox Pokemon. Each has the ability to fool a large group of people simultaneously. They protect their lair with illusionary scenery. Zoroark is a very interesting Pokemon, to say the least. Its unique ability, Illusion, sets it apart from every other Pokemon in the game. The mere presence of a Zoroark on your team will have your opponent second-guessing their every action for as long as it's able to battle. However, simply having the ability isn't enough to ensure success. Having a Zoroark and being able to use it effectively are two very different matters. To start, let's take a look at exactly what Illusion does. Whenever you send out a Zoroark in battle, it will come out disguised as the last Pokemon in your party that is able to battle. If the Pokemon at the end of your list is fainted, it will choose the next one up, and so on. Unfortunately, this means that if Zoroark is in the last position on your team, it will enter the battlefield without a disguise, defeating the purpose of having Illusion in the first place. The Illusion will only take the following forms. Zoroark will enter the battle with the appropriate Pokeball and appearance of the chosen Pokemon. Interestingly, the only indicator that you will have as Zoroark's trainer is that Zoroark's nickname will appear beneath the screen when awaiting an order. Naturally, you will only be able to choose from Zoroark's moves, but it's still something you will need to keep in mind. Zoroark's current health bar and status will remain where it is on Zoroark itself, meaning that if it has taken damage or has a status affliction, and its illusion hasn't, your opponent can pick up on that. Similarly, if the illusioned Pokemon has taken damage and Zoroark hasn't, this can be an indicator as well. Once Zoroark has taken its illusionary form, it will remain that way until it gets hit by a direct damage attack. Indirect damage via entry hazards, weather, or status effects will not break the illusion. One thing to keep in mind that is extremely important and has frustrated me many times in the past. When Zoroark's illusion is broken, it will default to selecting the first move on its move list regardless of the previous move chosen. If you play using a stylus and select moves that way, this doesn't have any impact. If, however, you use the directional pad and the A button, you need to be vigilant when attacking so that you don't select the wrong move by accident. Now, let's take a look at its stats. It has a very high special attack and a pretty decent attack and speed. This is great because it means that Zoroar can run a set that hits from either side, allowing you to fool your opponent even further. Unfortunately, its defenses are very poor, and most neutral attacks will hurt it pretty hard, and basically any super effective attack will knock it out in one blow. For its move and item selection, there are a number of ways to go. Probably the most effective use is to put a choice specs or choice scarf on it and use it as a one turn heavy hitter. In a lot of cases, your opponent will be able to deduce whether or not your Pokemon is the Illusion or Zoroark itself after one turn, so you typically only have a turn or two to do some real damage before you'll need to switch out in order to protect it. If you do choose a special choice set, the decision between Night Days and Dark Pulse is a tough one. Night Days is arguably the more useful option, hitting harder and with a great 40% chance to drop your opponent's accuracy. However, the only three Pokemon in the Pokedex that learn Night Days are Zorua, Zoroark, and Smeargle, so using it will be a dead giveaway. Also, Night Days only has 95% accuracy. While this is still very high, it can miss in critical situations. Dark Pulse is the safer play, but Night Days can net you wins you wouldn't have with Dark Pulse. Without a choice item, a Life Orb Zoroark can be very deadly as well. Zoroark is one of the lucky few Pokemon with access to Nasty Plot, and the confusion that Illusion offers you means that you can probably get one off while your opponent isn't looking. The downside of a set like this is that Zoroark's hit and run ability is much lower since it loses 10% of its hit points with every attack. Where the choice sets work best interspersed throughout a battle, racking up damage here and there, the Nasty Plot set works best as a late game cleanup finishing off your opponent's weakened Pokemon. Zoroark can also run a physical set if the need arises. Again, Illusion is a key to making this work. It packs a Stab Pursuit, which can really have your opponents scratching their heads when Zoroark is disguised as a Pokemon that doesn't typically use it. On top of that, Zoroark can use a Swords Dance set to increase its damage further. Unfortunately, 
Its move pool is very limited on the physical side, and outside of Night Slash or Sucker Punch, it learns very few useful physical moves. U-Turn takes special mention on any set, as it can allow you to switch to an appropriate counter Pokemon of your own without risking Zoroark. Even a modest Zoroark with no investment in attack will still hit pretty hard with it and will allow you to maintain the upper hand in the match. The primary problem Zoroark has is its unimpressive move pool. Apart from the moves listed before, Zoroark doesn't have much else to use for offense. It learns a huge array of dark moves, but with Night Slash, Dark Pulse, Pursuit, and Night Days, it has virtually no use for any of the rest of them. Even on physical sets, you're probably better off packing a special move like Flamethrower just so you can get better type coverage. But it's not the size of the move pool, it's how you use it. Much more than other Pokemon, Zoroark is very dependent on its team because of its illusion ability. Building a successful team around Zoroark is contingent upon knowing how it can counter specific threats. Any Pokemon that has a very small and specific list of threats is a great teammate, as the disguised Zoroark can simply knock out your opponent's designated counter. Notice that all of these Pokemon are defensive in nature as well. Sending in a defensive setup Pokemon after a KO is not terribly unusual, so your opponent will probably take the appearance of one of these Pokemon as a free switch. Capitalizing on that with a setup move or a really powerful attack from Zoroark can shift the battle back in your favor. Interestingly, some of the more effective teammates for Zoroark are Pokemon that function very similarly. In most cases, I'd suggest avoiding two strong choice item users or two strong setup sweepers, but in the case of Zoroark, you can really throw your opponent for a loop. Pokemon that can pull off both special and physical attacking sets work amazingly well, because you can bluff them as each other. For example, having a Swords Dance, or a Dragon Dance, Salamence, and a Nasty Plot Zoroark can net you easy knockouts as your opponent switches to the wrong counter, expecting a totally different set. One Pokemon that requires special mention when teamed up with Zoroark is Toxicroak. It can run a very strong physical set, but it also has access to Nasty Plot and a Stab Vacuum Wave. Using Zoroark as your special attacker and Toxicroak as your physical attacker, or vice versa, can help set you up for victory. Plus, if your opponent tries to take advantage of Toxicroak's 4 times Psychic Weakness, Zoroark can enjoy a free turn of either attack or setup due to its immunity. Additionally, if your opponent anticipates Zoroark when you actually have Toxicroak out, Toxicroak enjoys a resistance to the bug and fighting attacks that hit Zoroark super effectively. Using Zoroark to its full potential is definitely a team effort. Its offensive stats and moves are outclassed by a lot of commonly used Pokemon, so if you want to differentiate it from other strong dark types like Hydreigon, Tyranitar, Weavile, or Crocodile, you need to use its trickery to net knockouts you wouldn't normally get. Keep in mind that, with Zoroark in tow, you need to be able to outfox your opponents, force them into a mismatch, and then capitalize off their mistakes. The most effective Zoroark is one that never has to drop its illusion. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for any future videos, leave them in the comments below. If you are interested in participating in our online Pokemon League, click the link in the description for more information.